So recently, we did a video on how to set up a VPN on your Roku device, but with a router of course. In case you haven't got a router, you can still share a VPN connection from your smartphone, that is an Android one of course. All you need is a rooted one and then an app. This comes in handy when you want to watch geo-restricted content on your streaming devices like Chromecast or even Roku, but it doesn't have the native option to change your DNS or install a VPN. So let's see how you can use a VPN from your Android smartphone, shall we? First of all, get your Android device rooted. Next, you need to install a free app, VPN Hotspot, from the Google Play Store. Upon installation, when you first open the app, you will be prompted for the super user permission. If you don't have Magisk Manager or Super SU installed, the app wouldn't prompt you that it's not a rooted device. Turn on your mobile data or Wi-Fi accordingly and then switch on your VPN app and later on your mobile hotspot. Finally, head over to the VPN hotspot app and tap on Wi-Fi hotspot. This will lead to your virtual wireless LAN creation with a name such as SWLAN0. You need to tap the switch beside it to turn on the VPN hotspot. If you're getting an error saying created process is not a shell, make sure you have provided root permissions to the VPN hotspot app. Next up, you need to check if everything's fine. Connect another device like your smartphone to the mobile hotspot normally. You'll have the same native Wi-Fi name and credentials that you have on your regular Android hotspot connection. Once you connect to the mobile hotspot, you'll see the device appear in the client tab on the VPN hotspot app. Let's see if the internet works or not. Well, it works fine on the smartphone, but do we have the VPN access? Go to what's my IP address on Google and then there you have it. It's working fine. How about laptops now? Let's connect to Wi-Fi hotspot and search on Google. Well, nothing, no internet connection, interesting. Well, to fix this, head over to the CMD or terminal and ping the router. In our case, it'll be the IP address of the smartphone. Do IP config to find the IP address of the router. In this case, it's 192.168.43.1 and then ping that. Looks like it's working fine. So we know there's no problem with the computer connection and the router. So now we know that there's no problem between the connection between the router and the computer. Let's ping Google DNS. Ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and it's working just fine. What if you ping Google? And there's no result. So it seems like there's an issue with the DNS resolution. Let's check that by going to the network settings. And as you can see, the DNS server is set to 192.168.43.1, which is usually the ISP DNS, but in our case, it isn't. So just change the DNS server to that of a public Google DNS, like 8.8.8.8, .8 and then 8.8.4.4, .4, save changes, and then check again. Voila, it works just fine. Since Chromecast uses Google DNS, this shouldn't be a problem at all. So there you go folks, overall the VPN Hotspot app is a great app if you want to share your VPN with your home devices. Do note though that the VPN Hotspot doesn't make any changes to your home Wi-Fi or even the vendor files with just one exception. While you're at it, check out our other video that we've done on how to set up a VPN on Roku and we'll be doing a video on how to share a VPN from Windows and Mac so keep your eyes peeled on that. And if you're new here, subscribe. As always, I'm Bamzi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.